I can't think of any better way to celebrate the arrival of Weekend Wank Shop into the triple digits than by showing you guys one of my favorite solos I've ever written. Kids and welcome to a brand new supersized installment of Weekend Wang Shop. Here with your good buddy, Uncle Ben. As I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, a couple weeks ago, my buddies in the band White Chapel released a brand new music video for their song Bring Me Home off of their new record. It's a super dark emotional track which features some really killer clean singing by Phil, which is sort of a new thing for the band, but I think it's fantastic. I think there needs to be more melody and metal. It also features a little guest guitar solo by yours truly, and it's um, probably my favorite guitar solo I think I've ever written. So I figure since Weekend Wank Shop is now in the triple digits and that video just came out, it'd be a perfect time for you guys to learn how to play it. It's got a whole bunch of really soulful, expressive bends in it, as well as some pretty fast shreddy stuff, so it'll work out pretty much every area of your guitar playing. Pretty tricky though, so before we get into it, let's hear it again at stepdad speed. And as always, you can find a full tab for this week's lick over on my Instagram page. It'll be a pretty big tab, so I'll probably have to put up several different parts of it, so be sure to check all those out. You can find me over there on Instagram, at Ben Eller Guitars. Make a video of yourself playing through it along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop, so that I can check it out. All right, so this is in standard tuning. Um, live, Alex and Zach are tuned to drop G tuning on this tune, but Savage's lead guitar part is in standard. It's in the key of B minor, and it starts off something like this. Using your uh, middle finger here, start off on your 9th fret on your G string, slide up a whole step to fret 11. 10th fret B, 12th fret B, 12th fret B again with a whole step bend. Then what you're going to do is let that bend down, pull back off to 10, play the 11th G. And then next what we're going to do is to play the 10th fret B again then slide back down to 10. So all together that should sound like. The really tricky part here is that part where you come down off the bend. You know, that part takes a little bit of uh, listening to get the timing right on. So you gotta come down, pull off, fret, and then immediately slide back up. A Little bit tricky. Next part's a little variation on it. I was just trying to think, what would Dave Gilmore play here? So you start off with the ninth, slide up to the 11th on the G again. 10th B, 12th B. Then you're gonna bend up that uh, 12th fret B again, pick it and then bend it a whole step. Let it down a little bit, 
and take it up one and a half steps. Now this is one of those things you really got to use your ear for. I even recommend hooking your guitar up to a tuner to practice this kind of thing. Again, what that was is I bent the B string up a whole step, let it down a little, then took it up one and a half steps. So that's bending all the way up from a B to a D note. Let that one down, do the same pull off to 10 like you did before. Got to play that 11th fret G, and then back to that 10th fret B with a little slide off. For the next section, you're going to play 11th G, 12th B, 14th fret B, and then pre-bend up a half step up to the note D. Now again, this isn't like you pick it then bend. It's not that. Your finger has to already have pushed the string up before you pick it. So yeah, it's pretty tricky to do. After you do the pre-bend, you're gonna take it back down to neutral, bend it back up a half step, take it back down to neutral, and then pull it off to 12. So there's kind of two uh, bend and releases right there. Like that. After that, we're gonna do a little Hendrixy unison bend. Playing the 12th fret B and the 14th fret G right here. I strike them both at the same time and bend the G up a whole step so those notes are in unison and give it a hearty shake of vibrato. Next look is the same thing with a different unison at the end. So we play 11th fret G, 12th fret B, 14th fret B, pre-bend up a half step, let it down, push it back up, let it down, pull off to 12. And then the unison we're gonna do this time is an E unison bend. So I grab the 12th fret E string and the 15th fret B, hit them both, bend the B up a whole step, and shake the hell out of it. Next section is gonna be this. Now I'm starting off here on the 15th fret B, but I begin with a little rake into it. I'm doing that just by muting the uh, low strings below the B string really hard with my right hand over here. So that way I can just kind of scoop into it. So 15th fret B, 17th fret B, 19th fret B, then go back to the 17 and give it a whole step bend. So it kind of sounds like you return back to the note that you just hit. Next what you're gonna do is to play that 17th fret B again with a whole step bend, back to 17 neutral, 15th fret B. So that was, and then what you're gonna do is slide into the uh, 18th fret G. Now here's where it gets pretty cool here. I'm gonna do a little three note chromatic sequence before I slide down. So basically I've hit the 18, uh, and then I'm gonna pull off to 17, pull off to 16, slide down to 14. Now whenever I do that, I do a little vibrato with the bar right here. Now you could just finger vibrato it if you don't have a tremolo system on your guitar. But I just like the particular sound you can get out of that by doing it right there. So that was... Next we're gonna start off here on the 14th fret B string. We're gonna play 14, 15, 17. Same thing on the E. And then we're gonna come up a whole step here to fret number 19 on the high E string to the root note of B. And that's all alternate picks. Here's a deceptively hard little lick right here. I'm gonna play the 19th fret B again, pulling off to 17. 19th fret B, then 19th fret high E again with a whole step bend. So notice how I'm starting off with the third finger and the second finger crosses over and then the uh, ring finger's right back on the bottom. Next lick starts off on the 19th fret B, 19th E, 21st E, pre-bend a half step to get to that high D note. Uh, again, it's not just walking up to D like this. It's getting to that high D note by means of a half step bend below it. Let it down, push it back up, let it down again, pull back off to 19. Very similar to the lick that you played down here earlier. After this, hit the 22, and give it a whole step in, so you get a high E note out of it. Next part here will please every dog in the neighborhood. You're gonna play the 22 on the high E, 24 on the high E, pre-bend a whole step 
up blindly. Again, there's kind of a lot of that now that I think of it in this solo, just a lot of blind bends here. But we'll get a high F sharp note out of that. Use your tuner to check for your tuning accuracy. So 22, 24, pre-bend up a step. Then you gotta hit 24 again with a whole step bend. So you actually hear the bend this time. 24, 22, 21. Next lick is a classic descending threes blue scale lick. Again, B blue scale is what we're basing this out up here. This is seriously just a Kirk Hammett lick. Start off with the uh, 22nd fret B string, whole set bend. Pick it, then bend it. Don't, don't pick and bend immediately like that. You wanna pick, then hear that note yank up. After this, what we're gonna do is walk down the minor pentatonic scale in threes. Well, the blue scale, really. Who's counting? We're gonna start off here by beginning on the root note, which is gonna be fret number 19 on your high E string, the B note. 22 on the B. Then you're gonna go to 19 on the B. That concludes the first three note sequence. Then you're gonna start off from right here and walk down three notes. So 22, 19, 22 on the G. Then we're gonna start from here and walk down three notes. So that's gonna be 19, up here on the G string here, we're gonna have 22, and then 21. Then we're gonna walk down three notes from right here. So from the G string, 22, we're gonna go 22, 21, 19. Three notes from here, that's 21, 19. D string, 21. Then we're gonna walk down three notes from here. So the uh, 19th G, 21 on the D, and then uh, 19 on the D. So, so far we should have After this, I'm gonna play the A string here on fret number 21, 19, and 17. Then you get to the really burning part here. I'm gonna start off on the A string here, 14. You gotta play 14 and 16 and 17. Same sequence on the D. This is all alternate picked, by the way. Then I'm gonna start off up here at the 16 on the A string. Play 16, 17, 19. Same sequence on the D. So you've had these two identical shapes on both sets of strings. After this, you're gonna restart from that starting point on the D string that you just played. So you're gonna play 16, 17, 19. Then the G string here on 16, 18, 19. So now we got... After this, we're gonna go from the starting point on the G here. We're gonna play 16, 18, 19. And then it's the same figure, but on the B string up a fret. So here we're gonna play 17, 19, and 20. So that's the whole um, sort of triplet bass sequence. After this, it kicks into hyperdrive with some 30 second notes. So it's gone from 16th note triplets to uh, 30 second notes for this next part. Really fast, but I'll break it down slow for you. I love that sequence. The first part of this starts off by walking up and down the sequence on the G and B string. It sounds like this. So this is B minor scale. We're starting off here on the 16th fret G to the 18, to the 19. B string now, we're gonna go 17, 19, 20, 19, 17. Back to the G string here, walking up and down the notes we used earlier. So 19, 18, 16, then back to 18 and 19, and then walk up the B string, just like you did a second ago. So 17, 19, 20. So now you got, just like that. Next phrase starts off on that 17th fret B, so you're in the same position you were a second ago. 17, 19, 20. Now we're gonna go to the E string here on 17, 19, 21. Then walk back down the E string here, so you're gonna go back to 19 and 17. So that phrase is 
Next, you're going to uh, go to the 22, 21, 19, and 17. So that phrase was... Notice how those notes fall right on these accents that Harkler Road plays on the drums right there. He's got some cymbal accents that go bam, 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 bam. So I decided to match those in the guitar solo part right there to kind of bring that all to a head, you know? So that whole fast sequence will sound like... You're gonna end that run here on the 19th fret high E. Then you're gonna play the 17 high E with a whole step bend. Then let it back down to neutral and play 17 naturally. Just like that. This next phrase is again based on a high B minor pentatonic scale. Kind of a, I don't know, Zach Wilde or Joe Bonamassa sounded. Gonna start off with a 22nd fret B string, whole step bend. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down that minor pentatonic scale here in three string sequences. So I'm going to play down the E string. So that's a 22, 19. Play down the B string, 22, 19. Play down the G string, 21, 19. So that's... Then you're going to play three strings worth of stuff from the B string. So I'm going to play 22 and 19. 21, 19 on the G. 21, 19 on the D. So that's... After that, play that same sequence on the B string that you just played. 22 and 19, 21, 19 on the G, 21, 19 on the D. So now you got... After this wrap up with a 22nd fret B string, whole step bend with some juicy vibrato. Make it sing a little bit. And again, alternate picking is really the only way to do those kinds of licks. They just sound the best that way. Now you might notice whenever I do that last bend to get some maximum vibrato of it, I will push the right hand forward a little bit. That's just to give my uh, right hand muting over here maximum stopping power to keep these other strings quiet. Because if you're making a racket and really shaking that string around and you're not muting over here, you'll just get all kinds of god awful noise. So by pushing the hand forward like this, you end up blocking out those strings better. That way you can really shake that string up top there. So there you go guys, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a lesson on that one, so I hope that that answers all the questions that you guys have. But if you do have any more questions, be sure to let me know down below in the comments box. Definitely be sure to go and check out that new Whitechapel video for Bring Me Home. Again, it's a really dark, really emotional tune that I think a lot of people will connect with, especially if you've ever lost somebody that you really care about in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to my dudes at Whitechapel for asking me to contribute to their record. It's a real honor and privilege anytime I get to work with those guys. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Ben Eller Guitars. Also be sure to go over to Facebook and check out my new fan page, which you can find over at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. If you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. I teach all throughout the weekdays, so I'm sure we can find a time that'll work for the both of us. We can get together, talk about scales, modes, and technique, and whatever else it is that you need to know. So drop me an email. Thanks again. Stay tuned next week for another sick lick here on Weekend Wank Shop. Cheers, you guys.